Yippee-ki-yay, yay, fellas! Are you ready to get your 20th WoW Anniversary mount? This guide will go over what you need to do to get Cold Flame Tempest mount and fly around like a boss. First off, go to Orgrimmar and take a teleport to Caverns of Time. Once here, we will have to complete 8 fairly easy achievements. They are all grouped under achievement called A Cool 20 Years. Doing all of them took me like 2 or 3 hours just chilling around at the anniversary spot. Let's start with the easy stuff. When you come through the portal and just walk around, you'll notice these small balloons flying around. Grab one and go for a little balloon ride. Man, no way this tiny ass balloon is gonna lift my weight. Look, what the hell? The rope isn't even straight. What is this sloppy bullshit blizzard? Come on, why am I holding on a soggy ass banana? Ah, uh, just hang on for a little bit until you get the achievement. Oh, f it, I ain't holding this soggy ass banana balloon anymore. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, it turns out there's a parachute in my butt. I didn't even notice. Next, a quick and easy one is finding Petra in celebration area and opening the chest right next to her. That chest contains pet mirror. Now that you got that item, open up pet journal and find the pet you like the best. Let's see what I got here. No, no, no not this one. Oh, what is this little pigeon penguin? Yeah, this one looks funny. All right, all right, this could be me. The hat, the little staff, perfect. Now, summon the pet, open up your inventory and use the pet mirror that you just got. And boom, another achievement done. That's two of eight already, nice and quick. Man, I'm loving this little duckling. Look at that little guy go. Oh wow, I'm uh, so little that this monkey doesn't even feel that I'm attacking him. He probably think it's the wind swooshing by. A cool breeze. Oh look, they even have Leroy Jenkins selling chicken. Leroy Jenkins. Whee! They even have an ice rink you can slip and slide around. Revving up, revving up. Whee! Okay, okay, that's enough with the fun times. Let's dial it back a bit. Now, if you look at the top, there is going to be either active event or next event mentioned. There are three events going on every half an hour. If you chill around this place, you'll see what's active and what's coming up next. You will have to do all three events. Let's start with easy ones. Mount Mania is a classic Asmongold activity. I hope Blizz is paying something to Asmon for taking his idea. Mount Mania or a Mount Off? Basically this chick here is going through 15 mounts. Some of them very rare, but some of them are easy ones that almost everybody have. When it starts, open up your Mount tab and search for the mount that comes up on the screen. If you have the one that she's mentioning, then mount up and that's it, your achievement is done because you only need one to match. If you like, you can stay till the end, but after you match one, you can basically leave, whatever. Next is yet another Asmongold activity. Man, they're sucking Asmon dry. What's next, a ninja loot party? Hey, where's McConnell? Anyway, here is the fashion frenzy. And the achievement to do this is called Fashion Critic. Now the awesome thing is before it starts, you can get ready and put on any transmog you want. And it's all for free. I mean, you have to have it, of course, collected, but usually someone summons a mount with the transmog guy and you can uh, mog away, buddy. Yeah, the announcer gives us a general theme, and but basically you can choose whatever you want and put it on for free. So basically free transmog for the rest of the celebration, if you do it here. Then after you're done with your drip, your fit, your pantaloonies, you can go to the desk and grab the ribbons. They're gonna give you five ribbons and then you can go around and vote what outfits you like the best. Other people will vote too. And if you put on a good one, 
you might get some votes too. Oh, what? I even got seven votes for this piece of crap. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me guess who won. The guy with the Ragnaros mace, huh? Yeah, this is rigged. Rigged, I tell ya. Well, after you vote, you don't have to win, actually. The achievement is done. You only needed to vote. Actually, that's that's what's going on right now in uh, America with the Donald Trump and the Kamala. Huh? What's going on there, boys? Next, let's look at the story time. This one will take more time. Achievement is called Peanut Gallery. It's made out like a play, but basically you're looking into past stories. And I think they were a little lazy and there are only three original stories going on loop. But they're pretty okay, I guess. You can sit or stand around into the crowd and listen to them and during this story there's gonna be some action buttons that will appear. Do not miss them. You're going to either cheer or boo or say for the horn or even throw some tomatoes. That's the most fun one and also the best one to get. If you get the tomatoes then spam them as quick as you can. To get the achievement, you have to interact with the story 50 times. Yes, 50. That's a lot of times. And the stories are not that long. If you don't miss any cues to interact, you should be able to finish this achievement in four times. So you'll have to sit through this four full times. And remember, this event happens every 30 minutes on the full hour and half hour. Wow, these stories are so cool! Hey, hey, look at this guy bothering Granny Smith. Oh, lol. Yeah, see, boys, Brother Crow here is what we call a Jilf Hunter. Yeah, look it up, kids. Then we got to do some killing. If you open up your map in Caverns of Time, you'll see there are three deadly elites on the map. The achievement is called a gate crasher and you have to go and kill all three of them oh yeah by the way before you do any of this just grab all the quests they offered there one of them involves killing these three guys go and queue up to a custom pre-made group finder and just search for whatever monster you need to kill there the closest one is the doom walker all of these guys are super easy to kill with a group Oh look, he's doing his angry stomp dance. Stomp chomp, stomp chomp. Ooh, nice, I even got a chest upgrade. And a Doomwalker toy. And a grand black war mammoth. Sweet. Then we got the Shao of Anger. Another classic one. Oof, Pandaria again. This gives me remix vibes. And last and definitely the least, we got the Stone Watcher. This one, I didn't even need to group up for. These guys are already killing it. Ooh, ouch, that was close. Too close for my liking. Well, you kill all three and you are done with that achievement. And now we're getting close to the end. On the next one, we are hanging out with Chromie and her damn codex. Talk to her in the party area and also grab a quest from her. This is going to be a chromy dungeon run, eh, or a mini raid basically. You can queue up to do it through chromy or just open up dungeon finder and look for the codex of chromy. Ooh, there is extra goodie bag for completing this. Nice, nice. Once inside, chromy is going to go to her usual, everything's messed up and we have to fix it. Yeah, have you noticed guys? Chromy always comes with bad news. I think she's a little incompetent. This one though is super easy one. Just fly along with Chromie and kill whatever monsters are there. Oh yeah, there's one uh, fly around and grab stuff part two in there. After killing the last boss, you can teleport out of there. And in the result, you'll get two sweet chests. And well, 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 look at that. Aren't those new bracers for me? Last one is to kill a world boss. In Azeroth there are three of them. One of them is right here in Kalimdor called Azuragos. Azuragos. Azuragos? Azuragos. Something like that. 
And then there are two of them in Eastern Kingdoms, but ain't nobody got time for that. We are staying here in Kalimdor. While flying over, look for a group for that particular boss. Oh, and wouldn't you look at that. I already found a group that has done most of the job already. This is going to be easy peasy. Oh shit. Damn it. I got one shot. Yeah. That's one angry dragon. Whoa, whoa. Well, you know, as long as the job gets done, I don't really care. And with that kill and last achievement complete, you get your shiny new reins of Cold Flame Tempest in your inventory. I gotta say, this is a pretty mount. They really made sure the 20th anniversary mount is looking good. Wow. Animation is nice and smooth. Haha, <laughs> he even runs kind of funny. Oh man, that, that sound though. Oh. Every time he flops his wings, he's like shaking a slushy or something. Sheesh. Okay, maybe don't turn on the regular flying mode. You'll just go insane listening to this sound all the time. It's been a few minutes and this is driving me insane. What the? F Alrighty, boys. That was a walk through how to get the new 20th anniversary mount. Have fun in the event and get your own mount because it's very, very easy. Really, it just took me like, what, less than three hours, I think? Was probably even closer to two hours. Man, I was chilling. It wasn't hard at all. I right, like and subscribe and see you guys later.